Hi, Nathan Hilgren, Senior Program Manager at Microsoft, and I'm here to show you one of the new features that's coming out for virtual tables. Previously, if you had a SharePoint site with a multiple select option set, it wouldn't display properly with the Dataverse virtual table. Also, you weren't able to make any of your multi-option selections, and you weren't able to perform filtering. That's been fixed, and it's available right now. Let me demo this for you. So here I have our SharePoint list, and you can see I have a multi-select field. I pick one of these fields, you're going to see I have multiple options available to me. I can pick any ones that I want. And these are all here. I also happen to have a virtual table already created for this particular SharePoint list. You see it's a virtual table, same name, and it has all the options. So I can pick one of these. I'm going to pick, uh, let's see, Catherine here. If I pick Catherine, you can see I do the drop down, and I have options for all of the multi-select options that are available in my SharePoint list. I'm gonna pick two and remove one. And now it's saved. All right, go back here to SharePoint. I'm gonna to go to the edit grid view and I'm gonna find Catherine. There she is. And now we can see reseller and distributor here. Retailer has been removed. You can see that the functionality works properly. It displays it as you'd expect it to display it. And also come here to Dataverse and I go to filter. I can choose to filter by value. Say I wanna see everybody who has reseller as part of their seller type. Hit apply, and now, just like magic, like it should, it's going to bring me back everything that includes reseller as one of the seller types. I can change this filter and say instead, now I want to exclude a value, and I'm going to say does not equal reseller, give me everything that doesn't have reseller in it, do another filter, and you'll see here, again, everything that does not have reseller is now shown. So the filtering works, the selection works, the display works, and even with the Boolean fields, this also works as well. So I hope you take a chance to use this and give us some feedback on it and enjoy it. Thank you.